Marcus. Hello. Welcome to, to Formula Medicine. Thank you very much. So uh, this is where you set up your body and mind for the Grand Prix, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Uh, spend a lot of time here, especially before the season starts, to really make sure when the season starts, you're there, you're ready, uh, both in the head and the body, as you will see in a bit. So it's a very important place for me. So Marcus, there is a the perception that, that Formula One drivers are athletes, but there is a big mental uh, aspect to, to driving a Formula One car, and I guess you train a lot of that. Yes, exactly. Uh, like you say, you know, driving a Formula One car is, is extremely tough for the head. Uh, so it's, I think, very, very important to, to practice your mental ability. And uh, that's what we're doing here in Formula Medicine a lot. So this, uh, basically what this is, is um, practice for the reaction time. So as you can see, the, the lights are, are red and then when they turn green, you need to press on the, on the button. And then you see directly, you get the feedback in the corner, what time you do. So let's see if I can do a good one now. So now uh, when, when we've done that, we're going to the next uh, exercise in this program, uh, which is, uh, let's see, what is, is it the colors maybe? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this one is quite uh, difficult. So then you, you get, um, as you can see, the text uh, and the color of um, the letters. Of the letters. Yeah. And then I yeah. exactly. And then I need to put if it's true or false. So if uh, if it's uh, correct, uh, the, the letter, the color of the let letters, and the, what it's saying, then I. Press true, and if not, it's false. And as you can see, also the true and false switch sides. Oh yeah, so, yeah. so it's very, very yeah. difficult this exercise actually. What people believe is not true. The driver has a brain, and the driver has a brain which is really well working. I would say is one of the most optimized brain that I ever saw, because uh, you have to think about that. Uh, a driver is not a biceps, it's not the neck. If you want to stay to the limit for one hour and a half, every corner, you need a massive concentration, you need a self-confidence, you need a, a power of the brain which has to be perfect. Ah, for the first time, that's not bad, actually. Not bad? Ah, I think it's, uh, for the first time, it's quite good. And you did? I got 88. Almost all. <laughs> so, we see your pulse quite low, 63. I see you're quite relaxed despite our activity <laughs> back there. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is uh, the, the zone where we we work on the relaxation, uh, which is also very important, of course, to recover the energy and be able to relax. Also during a race weekend, you know, it's a lot of stress and you you think a lot, and, and it's very important then to be able to relax and uh, yeah, uh, recover energy. Bajado 43, casi 30 pulsaciones el solo. If I give you a good engine the best engine, and then the electronic device is failing. Do you believe that the engine will be running, uh, I prefer a perfect electronic device and maybe 10 horsepower less? So this is the, what a driver needs, a perfect electronic device. So we're ready, you're gonna have to click these three lights and hit how many balls? Yeah, uh, as many as it's coming. <laughs> yeah, basically, I need to, yeah, like you say, hit the balls over, and at the same time, keep an eye on which of the lights just light, lights up. For me, there is a podium. On the third level of the podium is the neck, the biceps, the arm, the third. On the second level of the podium is the heart, the aerobic, to be a triathlon uh, athlete is more important than the neck and the arm. But on the first level of the podium is the brain. The brain has to be super fit. Yeah, obviously a lot is uh, in the mental side, but also, of course, we need to train the body uh, as well. And uh, what we do a lot, uh, my training, uh, is a lot of circuit trainings. Uh, circuit training is good because uh, uh, you keep the heart rate up and uh, you do different exercises. Uh, and obviously I cannot put on too much muscle, so it's a fine line between strength and, uh, and uh, the, the weight, of course. The difference between top driver and the normal driver is the two tenths of a second, which are coming from a perfect coordination every corner, from a perfect control of the brain, from a very economic way to them, from the clear brain. That's 
these kind of things bring you to be perfect even in a very difficult situation, which means the limit. We try to bring the driver to stay in qualifying with the 170, no 185. In this way, he can stay as in qualifying or the race longer. Again, brain, it just, if you want to achieve qualifying for one hour and a half, it's just a brain. And we have the demonstration because we recorded some driver which they were able to stay all the race long like in qualifying. So, is the brain, it's not the biceps.